Ready. Hey everyone, this is Andy and Denise uh, on another ice chunk on the Yukon River. It's Earth Day plus 12. So um, we had some reports from upriver from both NOAA flyover and uh, the people upriver and the ice is jammed and stopped upriver. Uh, the ice went out in Dawson. It's moved down and there's some ice jammed up between Dawson and the 40 Mile River and then from the 40 mile river down to Eagle, which is about 50 miles or so, uh, the, river, the river has very solid ice. And then from Eagle down to the Tatondic River, which is about uh, oh, 20 miles down river from our location, the ice is jammed. From that point on, there's a lot of open water. So basically from the Tatondic River all the way up above the 40 mile river, we've got a lot of ice still sitting there waiting to be pushed out. So uh, a lot more than we thought yesterday. Right. So uh, the flyovers are really helping us with some pictures and people on the river are really helping us with their local observations, which uh, really helps out a lot. That's technology at work. Yeah. Tomorrow is Denise's um, prediction for breakup. <laughs> yep. And uh, then I'm two days after that. And I guess we had someone right in. They picked the seventh in between yep, us. We have one for the seventh. There's other ones around that, but there's one for the seventh. Okay. More yeah. for the eighth. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we can come up with a reward for the person if they pick something other than us and win. <laughs> Maybe a beer glass with Krugerrand on it or something. <laughs> um, so that's our, that's our river report. We're still on standby. Um, Water levels haven't changed too much, which is normal for this time of year. Uh, our question or our trivia for the day is how fast does the Yukon River flow uh, during its normal course of the year? And then what are the, the uh, fastest flows that we see on the Yukon River? Mm -hmm. um, there's basically two. There's breakup when the water level's high and everything's moving fast. And then there's the spring flood, which comes uh, in about a month from now in June when the water levels begin to rise due to all the melt up in Canada and the high country and the glaciers begin really pouring out the water. Um, and then that's our high water velocity at that point. Mm, okay. So those are our questions for today. Uh, the really interesting thing that we're noticing is uh, the lack of, of bird migration this year um, up until this morning. Very few birds, very few ducks, no geese, no cranes, no Canada goose flying over in flocks. Uh, yesterday you saw? Swans. All right. <laughs> I saw a lot. I saw swans and I saw behind them caribou, a herd of caribou. You guessed what, about 30? Yeah. Over on the other shore here, which is about a third of a mile. Yep. Third of a mile right on the other shore. So it was the swans in the backdrop where, where they... Caribou. The really interesting things about seeing the caribou is we just don't normally see caribou this time of year along the Yukon River. That was a pretty special sighting to see them with the swans. Uh, we're beginning to see some songbirds. About a week ago we saw marsh hawk has been hanging around. Denise saw what mountain bluebirds. Mountain bluebird. Today I saw a robin. The first robin came today. Okay so robins. Um, we saw some bohemian wax wings a couple days ago. Um, but no big migrations of birds yet, which seems really late. Um, one of the really interesting things this morning is we saw swallows for the first time, and they mm -hmm. seemed extremely early. Normally, we don't see them until the um, mosquitoes begin to come out. They're going to be extremely hungry. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So who's going to be the pooper scooper in the dog lot for the next week? Uh, tomorrow's guest for Denise, mine two days later. Stand by. We'll see who's going to have the... The shovel and the... <laughs> and we have somebody uh, put in a, a date bet for the 7th, right between, so... Stay tuned and enjoy. Hope this is uh, fun for people to watch. Uh, we're enjoying doing it and hopefully bringing you a really spectacular imagery of the Yukon River breakup so you can follow that with us here at Calico Bluff on an iceberg. Bye. How fast does the Yukon River flow on the average and what's the fastest flow? The Yukon River flows on the average five to six miles an hour or nine and a half kilometers per hour and seven to eight miles per hour or 12 kilometers per hour at high water. During the high water breakup years, the flow can go over 10 miles an hour or 16 kilometers an hour. That's moving.